Hi, my name is Demarche Walker. Welcome to my channel. Today, I just wanted to give an update on my lot journey. I first lot my hair on July 8th of this year. So it's been like two months now. Um, as far as the overall, how I overall feel about having locks, um, I love it. Don't regret it. I'm a little frustrated because um, some of my hair is not locking up. Um, I mostly wear my hair like this because, you know, it's only so long. So I just basically wear it like this and I have the sides back and, you know, the side shape. So I don't have any hair <laughs> technically on the sides. Um, so I just basically wear it like this or I would just put it, put it all up in a ponytail. It's a very short ponytail, but sometimes I do that. Um, what's frustrating me, as you can see, it's like some of my hair is just not getting it. It doesn't understand I want it to lock up. So all on this side really is like, it's, it's basically like this. It's, it has a lock. Then I have some pieces in the front that has kind of lock. You know, I have new growth now, but you can see the difference that it, that it has locked up. Um, also on this side, I have pieces that's not locking. Um, so it's kind of like that throughout my hair, where it's pieces that are locked, pieces that are not locking. And so that's the only kind of frustrating part because I know, and then also I have like these loose pieces throughout my hair. They kind of, they kind of grow together. So I'm popping them because I don't want my locks to grow together but I feel like once I could feel more settled once they all kind of lock up then I could kind of like okay they're locking they're gonna grow so I'm hoping that the next time when I retwist my hair that the locks will stay locked this time and don't come apart but overall um I love it <laughs> I truly truly don't regret it um, this kind of made me wish I would have locked my hair sooner. Um, in the, in the, another video I did, I kind of explained why I did not because um, I seen other people locks and sometimes they kind of look dirty and things like that. I understand it was like product buildup, but I never wanted to experience that. So that kind of deterred me. But now since I have decided to go ahead and lock my hair, I kind of wish I would have started earlier, but other than that, it's like, I love it. Um, I don't have to think about my hair. I don't, you know, because before I locked it, I was just natural. I was like natural for nine years before deciding to lock. And so even being natural, you still have to kind of think about what is, what is it that you want to do to your hair? So you're thinking about, okay, I, do I just want to do a wash and go? Do I want to do something else? Oh, I'm tired of dealing with my hair. Let me see if I can get braids or get, you know, faux locks or whatever the case may be. Um, so with this, it's like, basically I get up and I go, you know, I, I fluff it out. I go, if it looks dry, I moisturize it. If my scalp feels dry, I oil it. So even like now with me, you know, with some of the pieces not locking and I have new growth, even if I wash my hair now, it's still not like, oh, I have to, I have to retwist because, you know, you don't retwist your hair all the time. And I only wash my hair basically when it feels like really dirty or really dry, then I will go ahead and wash my hair. But mostly I, I try to do as less as I can you know basically that's I don't really have to do anything to my hair so I'm just looking forward to when I'm six months you know to have my locks for six months how they're gonna look one year out so it's like I'm just excited just to see how they're gonna look and one thing I'm looking forward to is like once they start maturing and they kind of you know they're they're thicker I wanted to put jewelry in it <laughs> that's something that I'm looking forward to is just putting lot jewelry in my hair just to, you know, just to see how that will look. But um, basically, I'm just truly, truly happy with my hair. And I don't regret it at all um, as far as locking my hair. It's just it's just a, a freedom. I can't really fully explain it. 
but you know it's just like a freedom with my hair it's like my hair has my attitude i guess that's why some pieces are locking and some pieces don't because it's like that's my personality it's like sometimes i care sometimes i don't and so it's just the wildness of my hair how it's looking you know regardless of what anyone else might think anyone else might say i just like the natural look of these locks you know i'm just looking forward to when they start you know getting more mature when they actually lock lock and and start getting more mature i'm really looking forward to that so i just wanted to share that with you and i will check back with you once i do a retwist to kind of see if <laughs> if i can do a retwist and have these holes so bye for now i might i might check back in on this video hey as you can see it's a new day and i did retwist my hair i was trying to hold out until um october around october the 8th to make it officially three months since i had my locks but um like i was showing you earlier in the video the hair on the sides the issue i was having with them locking up and like some also like on this side and it was just bothering me. So I went ahead and washed my hair and retwisted it. Um, like this one, you can see that is that it is locked at the root now and you know, the rest, the rest of the way down. So I'm just hoping that this time it stays. Um, my other locks, they kind of look crazy, <laughs> but you know, they're all, holding what i just two things i think was going on um uh, with my hair one is that i wasn't putting a scarf on at night and so i'm tossing i'm turning so i think that may have especially with my hair on the ends um be, i mean not on the ends but on the side because i wasn't wrapping my hair and the hair is um not a tight not a tight curl because like on the sides and the front the texture of my hair is more looser than the hair that's in the back um so i think that may have had some effect on the locks not you know actually locking and staying once i twist it so moving forward i am gonna um make sure i wrap my hair up every night and another thing I experienced when I was um, retwisting, when I got ready to start retwisting after I washed it, I was going through my hair and almost every lock I had was trying to grow together. So I'm in there, I had to pop almost every lock just to separate them because I do not want them to grow together. And um, I don't know how many locks I have because I haven't counted. I probably, next time I get ready to retwist, I'll probably count it um, then but I have no clue how many lots I have. Um, also, they're, you know, different sizes. You can just clearly see that I got some that are thicker than the others, um, some that are, are real thin. And that doesn't bother me, you know. They're not uniform, but, um, you know, it, it doesn't bother me. I'm okay with that. Um, it's just... The, you know, I didn't really just sit down, like try to part each part to get, um, to get them even or in a straight line on the side is more or less in a straight line, but just overall, I didn't really try to do anything like that. And, um, I wasn't trying to get them even it's just that I was just grabbing here, doing two strand twists and <laughs> this is how it came out. And like I said, I'm not trying to have perfect dreads or perfect looking dreads i just you know wanted to well lots they say you shouldn't say dread because you're not dreading having them but um you know i didn't want perfect looking locks i just wanted my hair well just want my hair to lock up and um as i was saying earlier i don't regret any moment or any part of the journey that i have been on so far um it's a learning experience because i'm I'm thinking, okay, I just don't really have to do any anything to it. And then they would just kind of lock up. 
but I see that I still have to have a little more maintenance. You know, I still have to do some work maintenance. And one thing I, I do can say about um, this journey that I'm on compared to me just being a loose natural um, when I would wash my hair in the shower and um, I would be detangling my hair. Then, you know, you have all of these, these um, the shed hair. <laughs> That's one thing, you know, I'm going in there washing my hair and there's no shed hair. So I, I you know, it, <clears throat> it's just the simple things that I'm noticing that kind of, you know, it's kind of big in a way because it's like one less thing you have to worry about. It's like all that shed hair and then clogging up your drains and everything like that. So um, I just was, I just found that interesting. And also, um, when I initially started my locks and I got my process down, I was only using three products, um, shampoo, um, oil, and um, aloe vera juice, because I wanted to kind of make sure that my um, locks just went ahead and, and stayed this time. I did decide to use um, a gel. Um, like I said before, I didn't want to use a gel because I was scared of getting build up. But um, I got a botanical gel, which is an aloe vera gel. They had other botanical gels that I was looking at, but I decided on getting the aloe vera, aloe vera gel because it is water, solid, water soluble. And so it's easy to come out of your hair. It's not something that's really gonna stay because it doesn't have like a great hold but it is it does give me a hole to retwist my hair that i wasn't getting with just the aloe vera juice and the um oil so hopefully you know i do see that they um you know actually hold and start locking um so i think that's you know i'm just gonna try that like the next time i lock it just i mean do a retwist just to see if the gel will make a big difference also make sure i tie my hair down at night you know, I, because I think that was one of the major causes of, because it was really just, it was some hair in the middle, but it was mainly like on both of these sides. It wasn't even like that in the back. The back did start locking up, but it's just mainly on the sides that I was experiencing that. And then I have a lot of, because I still, even now I still have a lot of um, stringy pieces because I, I was th thinking, should I cut them or should I just leave them? but I still have a lot of stringy pieces. And these are the pieces that was causing my locks to grow together that I had to go in there and pop to do the retwist. And I think all that, that fraction from just sleeping um, on the pillow without a scarf on kind of, I, in my opinion, kind of probably helped with the locks, you know, getting frizzier and kind of growing together. So I'm gonna see how that is. And, like I said, I'm, look, I, I'm looking forward to six months. Six months for me will be actually January 2023. So I'm looking, you know, to see how my hair is going to look six months out. But I just wanted to come in quickly, you know, to show that I did do a retwist on my hair. And then kind of show you how the locks are looking now um, with the retwist and the pieces that I was having issues with locking or staying locked, you know, right now, so far, so good. They're, they're kind of all, they look different. Like I said, my, my locks aren't uniform and I'm okay with that. And basically this is how I'm wearing my hair. Um, just to one side. And if I do change it up, it's basically a ponytail, you know, a little ponytail that I, stick up there because I don't, you know, I don't have any hair on the sides or anything like that. So I don't have a lot of hair to work with, but, um, that's it. Hope everyone is having a great day. Peace.